So here we can see the Earth Engine code editor. And in order to start the analysis, first we have to import the data set. There are two options for importing the data set. Either we can uh, import it using the unique ID associated with the data set, or we can use the code editor search tool to find the data set. In the search tool, if we put some keywords associated with the data set, such as global human settlement layer, we can already see some results popping up and we are interested in the build up grid, so we can import it. But before moving forward, let's look at uh, some of the properties of the data set. So if you click on the data name, you can see the description of the data set and some associated links uh, if you are interested to read more about it. And more importantly, information about the resolution, bands, so we are interested in the multi-temporal build-up presence band, and also some class values. So here we can see the values that are higher than 3 represent the build-up area in different epochs. Um, so for the ease of use, let's uh, rename the um, layer as dataset. Okay, so now we have it. And here we can see the word keyboard image uh, next to the dataset. In Earth Engine in general, raster data are represented as Earth Engine image objects. Each image can have one or several bands and each band can have um, their own properties. To view these properties, we can use the print function. And when we click on run button, uh, we can see more information about the data set. So the unique ID that could be also used for um, importing the data, uh, the band information, and also uh, the specific information for each band. So. Now let's uh, find the um, uh, and visualize the data representing build-up area. So for that we have we need a new variable, uh, and which we can name as build-up, uh, which is equal to we have to use our data set, and we have to select the build-up band. For that we will use select and we put the keyword build. Furthermore, we could have stopped here, but in order to uh, select uh, the pixels with the values higher than three, in order to, uh, to only have visualized the data of the build-up area, we can use the method greater uh, than and equal. And we can use the value of three. So here we will pick the values which are greater or uh, equal than 3. And what's left, left is only mapping. So, so we will use map uh, add layer. So it takes some time to um, to print the values and as mentioned it's a global product so it can be visualized for specific areas we can zoom in for uh, much more details uh, so here with the inspector tool you can also uh, click and get the information uh, for the value for specific location so we can have one for build up and zero where uh, there is no build-up detected. So now let's uh, make a small change and look at mm, not the values which are greater than equal 3, but uh, look at the data for a specific epoch. Here we have to change just uh, from greater than equal to just equal to 3. So this is the la latest epoch. And when we click run again, we will see how instantly uh, the visualization changed. So here we have only uh, the values where um, uh, it was built up in for that specific epoch. So this is all for the first practical and uh, we will move to the next user case now.